have another problem with this BMW. It's not a major problem. It's leaking oil. But the oil that is leaking is not from the seas, but it's actually from the, the I bought this repair kit. And what this kit does is it has um it has a drill bit for you to use to re re-drill a hole. It has um a, 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 this thing for retreading the hole and then it also had the treading sleeves that you put in the hole to create a new treading for this thing this is now the tool that you use to do the insert when you put it in the insert this is the tool you use to lock in place this and turn it to make sure it goes in now that it's dra all drained and you can see right here this is the this is the treading coming out piece by piece yeah so you see that that's the entire treading came out I'm gonna to try to make sure this the drill bit is as straight as possible to make sure I have enough room underneath it because this is a big drill. I have a smaller drill, but this bit can't fit in there, and it so I have to make sure I have the. And this is a big, it's a very big drill. You know, so I have to have enough space under here. You know, so the higher you mount the car, it is better. Yep. So now, I'm going to try to get it in there as straight as I can. try to use this now and use my hand to catch this thing See all the pieces of metal running down on the side. Easy now, so I think it finished the cutting process. Now that I finished the the cutting, you can see the new treading inside now. The insert is going inside. Um, this is the in the, the coil insert that's in in up in the in the um, drain plug hole. So I get this hook, this thing. I bend it to make a hook, and then I'm gonna put it up like this, and then I'm gonna pull on it. To try and break this car this should be easily to easy to break because it has an indentation right here so I'm gonna put it over here like this and then I'm gonna hold this end and try to pull it down to break this thing and this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do inside to make sure I get this piece out and I put my drain plug back in with the new washer so I'm gonna put 18 pounds of torque 
and this thing um, this is my tall crunch of making sure it's an 18 Okay, here, that's my 18 pound right there. So after leaving this thing overnight, run the engine for, an, for about half an hour. And as you can see, there's no leak. You know, it's still dry. So, yep, that is it. My, um, that's how I do the repair on my drain plug and um, hopefully it stays that way from now on.